Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli, and um, I was going through some ideas for um, whenever students come to me and they're like, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't escape, I can't sweep, I can't finish a submission. So the one I want to push today is uh, for the people who say, like, I just can't sweep anybody. And that's a common problem to have. Typically, um, you start getting really frustrated with it around like blue belt level. If you're not like hitting sweeps consistently by the time you're approaching that blue belt level, then it's going to be pretty frustrating. I didn't understand for a long time in the very beginning like how to really make sweeps work. So I'm going to share some concepts with you today using the frame of a scissor sweep, kind of one of the first basic sweeps that you learn, um, to, to frame the problem, frame the question, and, and discuss these concepts that might hopefully be helpful. When we're starting from just basically a close guard kind of position like this, she's upright on here. I'm going to use the grips in this one. This can be a, a no-gi sweep as well. You see it very successfully hit like that, even in MMA sometimes. Um, but I'm going to start with my hand inside the collar like this and I'm going to grab here on the sleeve somewhere. What I really prefer is to kind of go through this process to keep it basic. When I go here, we're going to play a little tic-tac-toe. So I'm threatening a choke. She's going to block my secondary arm here like this so that I don't uh, start to get the choke on that side. When she blocks my arm, I'm going to get the seam of her gi right here. And so I have two grips attached to her. Now, I want to think about like how is her base right now. Her base is kind of like a pyramid foundation. She has a triangular foundation to it coming up to the top. Her center right now is like in the middle of the three points of her base at the bottom of it. So that's a pretty good solid foundation. I need to remove her center from that foundation to be able to take her over the line of her base and make her susceptible to being swept. So the way I'm going to look to do that is I'm going to hip out to the side so I'm not directly in front of her any longer. Now, so that she doesn't just fill that space the way she wants to, I'm going to fill the space first and put my knee inside. At first, I like for my knee from hip to, to knee, this femur going into her chest like this and keeping these strong grips attached like that. So um, then this is to keep her from smashing me, but whenever I actually go to sweep her, it's gonna change a little bit. The next thing I wanna look to do here is I'm gonna like extend myself back. I'm gonna pull her forward and lift her up a little bit here. I wanna start dropping my leg down to the ground so she has something to trip over. And then from here, my leg goes a little more horizontal. I keep my arms in a curled position and I retract my shoulder back and I make that sweep across like that here. And I pull myself to the top position and resume attacking like that. I want to think about the way the sweep works like I'm cutting some hair. So like I wouldn't just like try to cut hair like this. I would pull the hair up like this and cut this way. So that's what I'm doing. I'm lifting her up off her base like that and then cutting the base out from underneath her. The scissor sweep, a lot of times people get really um, preoccupied with the scissoring of the legs. But if she has a strong foundation, my legs scissoring are not going to do much of anything. I have to pull her up, take her center over her foundation. So if you picture my center here in the middle of these three points of base, the connection back here by my butt and my two knees, my center is directly in the middle. It's, I'm pretty firm. I'm pretty, pretty planted. If I start taking that center over this wall here, I'm going to start losing base. I'm going to have to find some other way to reposition, retriangulate my foundation. And if my grips on her are preventing her from doing that, then I'm gonna be able to sweep her. So that's kind of the concept here. So one more time, when we look at this position, um, I wanna get here like this. I wanna hold these two attachments like this so I have collar sleeve, I'm controlling this area of her body. I'm gonna hip my, uh, I'm gonna shrimp my hips out to the side. I can do that by planting my foot or just by using my leg to hip out. My knee comes in the middle here like this to keep her from smashing me. If I bring it in too early, she just like smashes my legs up, it's no good. I go here though instead. Now, sometimes whenever we get here, I would like this leg to block whenever I go to make the sweep. But if her base is a little too wide like that, then yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. But she's given me another opportunity here to where I can bring my foot inside of her knee oblique like that. I'm gonna do the same thing now, pick her up like this. And now I'm gonna shove the leg out and pull her up and across, pull myself to the top position there, and then start to attack from the mount. So um, the whole concept of, of how the foundation is set and how the center in relation to the foundation works, that's what's gonna really help you determine the leverage that you need behind sweeping. So looking at something just as basic as a scissor sweep should give you, if you have a, a pretty good, complete understanding of it, it should give you a nice framework of how to understand sweeping in general. So whether you're doing any kind of complicated, more like a flower sweep or even open guard sweeps to some extent, they're gonna work in a similar fashion. So hopefully these concepts here kind of help you with that. And if you're having trouble sweeping people, then this will help clear some of that up. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and keep watching.